R will be transient toward V R, like river will fall down in C. Similar way, last session, 11th session of this folder, it will be just a gateway to V R. Means from L R, we will transient to V R, and you will able to get the connection between all these things. And this is one of the important aspect of your CAT preparation. And based on my personal experience, I am telling, if you are able to connect all the four section in particular order or particular way of the thinking, your preparation will become easier. But if you are thinking everything is different, DI is totally different, these all these chapter will give you the idea how to transcend to the VR, verbal region. Just we will uh, try to get idea here about decision science and making. We know all these things, again just I am repeating, is not a big thing. In business decision and strategy makes the major factors for success. In daily life also, we have to decide many small or big things based on multiple available options. The same example, it is very, you can say, repeated example, but very suitable example because all of you are graduate. After doing so much brainstorming, you have decided I should go for MBA. Many of your colleagues or friends decided I will go for MTech and many of one of the chunk of the people that decide I don't want master degree. I will do the job and I will grow there internally and whatever training and skill will be needed, I will keep on get and I will grow. And another one chunk of the people, they got the job, they totally slept. Whatever that company is doing with him, he is not worried. He is just getting, getting the monthly salary and surviving. Then multiple type of people will be there in your batch or in your friend circle. But you are one of the group who have taken decision, I want to do MBA. And if you want to do MBA, then do it at any cost. This is my personal commitment. If we want to do anything, do at any cost. Don't go back. Once you decided, do it. What will happen? Nothing is going to happen. Nothing can be much, much grievous than life itself. If we are able to survive, we can do anything. Anyone. Then uh, just will take after graduation, any person must decide about further career option based on the various available option. And many of the people will give you the guidance at that point of time. Parents also will be there. Your uh, relatives will be there. Your seniors will be there. They will provide you sufficient input how to take, arrive on the decision. One kind of reason will be there. We want to go for master degree or higher education. Not only for master. Maybe they want to do the PhD. Not only PhD, postdoctoral research. 1%, 0.1% people will be in your surrounding and your batch also will be there. They are interested to go for higher and higher education and further they want to build their career in academics or maybe something else. Abroad for a study, one group of people, they are very desperate, I want to go Canada, I want to go Australia, for what? For a study purpose. They don't know what is the pros and cons, but they want to leave India. They want to leave India at any cost. They are passionate about for other country, whatever reason, I am not going to discuss here. I am just putting the option. Another category of people, they start the job. Another category of people like you, you are preparing for MBA entrance test and you want to take admission in one of the top university or colleges or institutions in India, which will give you the good thrust for your personal career or maybe your everything. If you are wishing to get good girl, good girl or whatever you are wishing to get good prestige in your society, everything can be gained from MBA. Own a startup, few people will be there. Sometimes we used to say it is a crazy, but these crazy people may make change. Not all, few of us. Continue the parents' occupation. This is also one of the options, etc., 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 multiple options. We are deciding based on multiple factors. Just will come down, what are the things we are generally thinking? Most of the, whatever middle class person will be there, first thing they will think, risk. We don't want to take risk. Parents also will tell, you know, go for safe area. In India, one of the condition, go for government job. You may be safe. Maybe any of the situation, your jo you will not lose job risk, uncertainty, financial factors, all these things we are thinking to arrive any of the situations. Similar way, you can just reflect if you are taking as a business decisions, in place of all these things, you have to think in different terminology. 
they are also you have to think in terms of risk but their risk will be not like okay if you are going this particular job then you will not able to get the good apartment their risk will be different threat will be different but they will also count they will also understand the situation or process of taking decision based on all these factors risk uncertainty financial factors and for especially for business uh, business decision they will think about the future of company like what is the vision of the company what is the mission of the company by taking this decision your mission and vision is not going to disturb it is not going to turbulent it must go towards that direction generally a decision has been taken on two types of input one is intuition based another is data driven data driven means now we are using the artificial intelligence machine learning after then deep learning multiple things are there all are based on the data or data science means how we can put the abundant data in a structured way to get the qualitative output just I, again i am repeating how to put the abundant data in very structured way to get the qualitative output here input is numerical output is qualitative decision will be always qualitative it impacts will be numerical or based on the numbers but decision will be qualitative then qu quantitative to qualitative decision you have to take and now we are using the data all the decision science based on the data data driven decision earlier it was intuition based and based on that great great visionary has, was there earlier based on their intuition or their feeling they used to take decision and that decision used to be perfect because their involvement was so high in any profession or any business their intuition always will guide with correct direction and if you if you agree with me or not agree with me decision always will be based on emotion and intuition backed by numbers that is best way decision you take based on the intuition but always you backed it by numbers this is the you can say if you are taking decision based on that you will be much ahead who are taking decision only based on data you merge this intuitive decision based backed by data intuitive decision backed by data just will uh, try to learn something lti learn through images this is your decision making alternatives uncertainty high risk consequences complexity interpersonal issues these all you have to consider after mba once you will get the job this all will be your uh, one of the one of the you can say day to day job how to consider all these factors and arrive on the decision the decision maker faces conditions of certainty risk uncertainty just and for the taking decision vary of the module we have so many new new softwares are there they will categorize your each and every factor like uncertainty then uncertainty just suppose five uncertainties are there every uncertainty they will define based on the degree of consequences maybe 0.1 0.2 0.3 0.4 0.5 we know it or maybe we can define it as a lower moderate higher or highest afterwards we will take the weighted average or weighted consequences based on that we will arrive on the decision this is your intuitive decision making and this is your data driven decision here own thinking or own involvement or own experience for a particular sector or particular field will matter experience will be supreme here experience will be supreme here if you are a intuitive decision maker but if you are data driven driven then a skill is supreme then experience first you must know the skill how to use this data science how to use maybe your data science expert to arrive or to conclude for a decision this first skill then experience but in duty based your experience will matter more because you are taking qualitative decision that qualitative decision reflects quantitatively for that you have one team they will able to measure it but decision will be qualitative 
like here this is one of the ideal picture you can understand like these so many things are coming here there and finally you are taking one decision one output again data driven decision you can just figure out here uh, guard against uh, loses define objectives gather data analyze and understand the different field itself i cannot teach data science or you can say data driven decision science in one session it is not required at now also this is management topic but just i given the highlight or idea why it is important